see y'all again real soon. My name is Aaron Lee. The Mattersons are coming up next. And the Womacks are gonna happen. Something about broccoli is happening over there, I think. And uh, it's gonna be a great night. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here. Really appreciate you. Feel the way it was when we were a kid again. So they sang the war that lights the moon, and strikes your heart with a silver spoon, and exterminates in plan from June. It's the music of your favorite tune. This country's dead. Maria, come on, let's go dancing tonight. But if you want to feel the Holy Ghost, then join the band and burn your clothes. Get the last great hope of rock and roll. Some Barbie doll on a stripper pole And I know every word To your first CD And I wouldn't bury you Tonight on them streets of Galilee So desperately you kiss my face Like you're from another time or place A memory I cannot seem to trace at all Triumph you pull back into town like the circus and what a juggling clown and fight it for a critically acclaimed artist who can't even draw. So light on up for me and say I saved you from another day of petty lies and dumbest folks who steal from you to give you hope. I get the feeling nowadays there ain't nothing left to say. So let's load the cannons and fly so far We hit outer space from inside our car Cause we all used to dream so hard But nowadays we're all too sick and tired I've cried so much My dear, the tears are like a sea There's a ship we can ride across On them streets of Galilee They tried a little harder to find something cool. Well, I guess I don't really watch TV, but I know I would if I could see a beat poet laughing at misery, just like it's 1963. And baby, you gotta know I loved you even way back then. So won't you take my hand? Walkie's having one hell of a year And I promise to hold you up my love So you can see the singer take his drugs I have not filled So good Bracelets. All kinds of cool shit, man. 
I was a much younger man in 1993, young enough in fact that my mom could give me a ride home from school and on just several occasions she did that very thing, although this one time I did get in the car and she put this tape on, the cassette deck tape player and said, hey man, check this shit out. <laughs> And it was this tape called the Blue Beatles tape, which I had never heard before. But as I sat there listening to the Beatles for the first time, I thought, damn, man, this is pretty kick-ass. I gotta try to figure out how to do some shit like this, you know? So I took the tape out of my car, and I took it up to my room, and I put it in my boombox. I sat in front of my boombox with my guitar and tried to learn how to play guitar like the Beatles. But friends, that is hard to do, because number one, Beatles songs got a lot of chords in them. <laughs> And number two, I can never get my hair to look right and sure as I'm standing in front of y'all tonight. I can tell you, you cannot play the Beatles music with some bullshit hair, man. <laughs> and as I was listening to the Beatles music, I noticed there was this whole other kind of guitar from the kind of guitar I had, which was an acoustic guitar. And the other kind of guitar was called the electric guitar, and it seemed like the shit that happened when you did that one was a lot better than the shit that happened when you did this one, because the best case scenario for something like this is maybe somebody comes up to you afterwards and says, man, I really dig what you did with the folk music. Maybe we could pet this whale together, or plant a tree, or hold hands, or some shit like that. If you get that electric guitar going, the chicks are taking their shirts off, the beer's free, the whole deal is way better, man. <laughs> That's what I want to do. So I became a folk singer. <laughs> they called in school a visual learner, my brothers and sisters, which basically means I didn't do the shit that you're supposed to do and they felt bad about that fact, so to make up for it, they gave me this misleading name, and it was under the pretense of my misleading name, I thought to myself, well shit, if I could see somebody play the electric guitar, I bet I could learn how to do it too, after all, I'm not visual and stuff, you know. And I was thumbing through the newspaper one day and I saw this guy was advertised as playing at the Ohio State Fair that I'd never heard of before who was billed as the Motor City Madman. But seeing as I had not heard of him and we were living in the age of technology, I looked him up on the internet and I found a picture of Ted Nugent wearing like a loincloth and a headband and carrying around some sort of assault bow and arrow type deal. And I took one look at that and thought, this is the fucking guy I should be taking guitar lessons from. <laughs> And I went down to the state fair and I watched Ted Nugent play and man, it was badass. He did Cat Scratch Fever and all the hits and then he left the stage and then he came back on the stage by a round of applause for what they call in the music business an encore. <laughs> it was at that point in time he did this song that we were all entirely unfamiliar with called Jackass, which is basically where that guy just sings about different people that he think are, thinks are jackasses and then one by one his road crew brings out a life-size cardboard cutout of each person he's singing about and he shoots them through the heart with a flaming crossbow in front of everybody. <laughs> At 17 years old, I was like, damn. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to hear Stranglehold, but okay. <laughs> when did ignorance become a point of view? <laughs> My brothers and sisters, I'm not telling you this story to take Uncle Ted down. He's out there doing what he does, and you should do what you do too, so long as it does not hurt anybody else, I believe that. But my brothers and sisters, these times are strange. Now's as good a time as ever to start yourself a revolution, and I'm not talking about the kind of shit where you need to shoot a flaming arrow at a piece of cardboard to make your point. I'm talking about the kind of thing you can do in your own bedroom with a couple rock and roll posters on your wall and a six pack of Mickey's Big Mouth. My name is Aaron Lee Tastian. I stand here before you today as living proof that one good hat, a fuzz guitar pedal, and a sort of past to go a long way to keep you in free beer and good company in this man's America. <laughs> I want to thank you guys so much for letting me sing for you tonight. And I do want to leave you with one piece of advice before I get out of the way of the mattresses. Come on here and kick some serious ass. <laughs> and that thing is, man, if you are going to listen to Ted Nugent, Stick to the early shit.
being so nice to me. The last you're coming up next. Enjoy your evening.